Hello and welcome back to No Magard's Journey. We are here in the Plane of Knowledge for the last two Frostfell quests. And uh, in an effort to save time, I have already cooked everything required uh, because they are a little bit of a pain to get. Uh, the uh, so you have to make a cookie cutter uh, to make the cookies. You have to make muffin tins and pie tins. So I got all those made. I made uh, went out and farmed some brownies to get uh, brownie parts. Uh, I had to make berry pies to make pound cake. But uh, we have everything here. We got the meat filled pies, the chocolate muffins, the loaf of breads, the pound cake, and the animal cookies. And we have to give all of this to our good friend, Mr. Uh, Hargar, the... Let's turn names back on. Hargar the Velium Chef. So he is a uh, he's a guy. So let's go ahead and hand these all over to him. Like so. There we go. We got some uh, cookies left because uh, I made too many because they come in different size badges. There we go. And we completed uh, what was that one called? Uh, it's like the Valium, the Fro Fro Frostfell Feast or something like that. But we completed that. All right. So it is also Christmas Eve. I can finally do this quest from uh, Santa Lug. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So there's a Santa Lug here, but there's also another one over here. And I believe this is the one we actually say uh, check to. There we go. And there we go. We get Santa Lug's gift. And uh, we just need to open that. Which gives us five eggnog, five mistletoe sprig, five frostwood, frost fell wreath, five grim scales, five goblin snacks, five elf ears, five santug suits, frost fell trees, five toy eyeballs, and five toy skates. Oh my gosh, quite the mouthful of stuff. But there we go. And we finally finished the achievement. Frostfell, Santog, and uh, that'll I guess click in at some point in time because they uh, they're not that fast. But that is the last Frostfell uh, quest. We have completed them all now. Uh, we have done everything for Frostfell. Now, if we look at the calendar, uh, today is the twenty fourth. Uh, after Christmas, the New Year's event starts, and then that'll be the next one I think we'll be doing. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, here, let's turn off complete so we can find it. So New Year's got two different uh, achievements here. They don't, I don't, I haven't, don't know anything about them. So they might be uh, pretty quick, pretty easy. I don't know. I'll have to look that up. Um, but once we get that done, uh, so I am... I'm 120 now. I don't know if I, if anybody saw that, but I am uh, almost. I almost have all my focus item or my focus for. Uh, if you can see here, I got annihilation done, venom done, uh, all those done. I got wounds and a few others to go, and we'll have all our AA focus up to max tier, so we can actually do damage and stuff like that. So uh, that'll be exciting. Uh, I'm. Uh, been doing some of the missions getting some of those tokens so i can get some more uh stamina to augs and stuff because i don't have hardly any there's a few of them in some of these right but i most of my type five, fives are empty so it's gonna be something i'm gonna be working on but uh new year's is gonna be coming up uh this video is probably not gonna be up until uh later on in the month anyway i i'm scheduling one video a day so that's that um but uh, we're gonna start doing the hero's hero's journey again also so once New Year's I think I get those quests done I'm gonna go straight into Ocean Green Hills Village and Blackborough and we're just gonna pound these out as fast as possible uh, at this point we should be able to one shot every single mob in all of these zones all the way up until uh, the conquest raid ones I think these are gonna be the only hard ones that we're gonna have to deal with because I've never done them these are uh, level 65 raids so we're going to go through all that uh, fairly quickly. And uh, I want to complete the hero's journey. Uh, then we're going to move into, uh, depending on how we are, right? Uh, so if we go to holiday, right? Stomples Day, that's like around March, Easter time. 
that's the next one after that that we don't have because I have already done Valentine's Day uh, at some point in time so that'll be that uh, the, I guess these are all uh, for uh, April Fools and Easter so we'll uh, be good on events there but the anniversary tasks they come out around the same time and some of these anniversaries are actually uh, useful so we're gonna start we'll, we'll try to go through all these as we can I tried to do some of them I got the Stein uh, and last uh, last anniversary last year but uh, it's not even one here <laughs> I don't even think I finished the mission but uh, the this I'm gonna need to do a lot of these there's a one that gives you a, a staff that lets you cure uh, poisons and disease which is really nice to have so there's a lot of things we're gonna do in this uh, but after the New Year's quests I'm gonna focus on finishing up here which journey get all this stuff done uh, all of these and then uh, once we have all of the hero's journey done I'm gonna go straight up into Empires of Kunark and all the progression there uh, maybe Broken Mirror I think it has the stuff too I think all the way back to Call of Forsaken has uh, progression uh, let's see here real quick yeah it's just an aug uh, no those AA points accomplished hero yeah so some of these some of these have them some of them don't but what I'm looking for is this one has a lesser hero too heroes resolution uh, heroes uh, fortitude and what is it what are the other one is called so there's th these bonus uh, bonus things you get for these AA points so we're gonna focus on these yeah heroes fortitude resolution and vitality these will increase our hit points, our mana. Um, this one increases our armor class, attack power. This one's more of a uh, melee thing, but it'll work for us too. There's this quest to get another these uh, more mercenary slots. I already have them maxed out because I just bought them, but I do have one left to do, so we'll do that quest too. But uh, we got a lot to do to uh, get caught up because we are we're missing like 30 to 40,000 hit points by not having all those AAs from what I I've calculated it might be less but we're missing a lot of stats by not having those uh, so we're gonna do that and then uh, we'll go from expansion to expansion all the way back up to uh, Terra of Lucklin and we'll do all the quests in Lucklin at that point in time but uh, I'm gonna start at the bat the end the beginning and work our way to Lucklin versus starting luckling work, working our way back just because uh we're still under geared and it's going to take me a little while to get uh get some gear to actually be able to kill the luckling stuff at a speed that i'm comfortable with for a video uh the live streams it just it's like it's like almost five ten minutes per mob and that's just that's a that's a pain solo so we're going to start backwards work our way forward and then uh do everything <laughs> so that's a little little summary but uh thank you very much for watching and happy ha have a happy frost fell